find yourself worried about sharing your writing with others? What if they steal your idea? Or worse yet, what if they steal your entire story and sell it under their name? Oh no, what then? What will you ever do? Okay, before your brain explodes into a thousand pieces, take a deep breath. Because we're going to discuss the chances of your story being stolen and what you can do to protect yourself. You'll want to stick around. Hey guys, Noor here and welcome back to my channel! Can literary agents and publishers steal my story? Can readers steal my story? Can a hacker find my story in an email folder and steal it? Oh boy, I get asked these questions often. And that's okay, because I myself have asked that very same question to Google when I first started thinking about publishing my books. The bad news is, yes, anyone can steal your story or idea. The good news is, the odds are slim and no one cares enough to do it. For one, story ideas are almost always recycled. You think you wrote a unique story no one's ever written before and that's going to make you a bestseller? Think again. Your story idea is most likely recycled from story ideas that came before yours. Before Twilight became a bestseller, we had Dracula and even the Vampire Diaries book series. Stephanie Meyer didn't invent vampires. Similarly, I didn't invent fallen angels when I wrote Divinity Falling. That idea is centuries old. However, we can all repurpose ideas and give them a spin. For two, it's not like you can copyright an idea. So technically, there's no reason to stress over something you can't do much about. Now, if you're worried that someone is going to steal your new take on an old idea, you're probably worried for nothing. Literary agents, editors, and publishers don't care enough about your story to risk ruining their reputation. And besides, if they really think your story is fantastic, they're more likely to take you on as their client and benefit from your success than they're likely to steal your idea. They are professionals. It is their job to protect their clients and themselves. Still, it is important that you do your homework when you reach out to literary agents, editors, and publishers. Make sure they are truly who they say they are and not just scammers pretending to have a literary company. A quick Google search will save you years of headaches. Look at their portfolios, see who their clients are, how many years of experience do they have under their belt. That's the best way to figure out if they're authentic or running a fraudulent business online. Also, never ever pay anyone to publish your book. That's always a red flag. Protect your story from scammers, but also protect your wallet. No one wants to lose $4,000 along with all rights to their story. And when it comes to your average readers, such as friends, beta readers, and ARC reviewers, fear not. Because the moment you create your story, it is copyrighted. Now, obviously, I'm not a lawyer, but from years of research and extensively educating myself by reading on the laws the US Copyright Office shared, I have learned a few important things about protecting my story. The moment you type that sentence onto your document, it is copyrighted and protected. Don't believe me? Go to the US Copyright Office website and read more on it. Of course, all published works should still be registered with the US Copyright Office, but not having that copyright certificate in the meanwhile won't put your story at risk. However, don't copyright your book before it is ready for publication, because then you have to deal with another complicated process of having to re-copyright your book and pay another fee. Still, no one wants to deal with someone outright stealing their story, selling it, and then sharing it on the internet. Because while the chances are slim, it still can happen. But in my personal opinion, the only way this can happen is if you give your unpublished book to sketchy people. So when someone shows interest in your story, don't just hand it to them. Stop and consider how well you know and trust them. Have you never met them before? Don't give them your story. Unless. And there's always going to be an unless. Unless they are beta readers or book reviewers who have a good reputation. Again, you must do your research on these people. Do they have a list of other authors they've reviewed on their website? How authentic is their website? How authentic is their email? If anything about the person screams sketchy, don't give them your book. As for beta readers, I personally always work with people I know well, either in person or online. 
These are readers I can tell are genuinely interested in my stories and want to help me. They're not just random names I've never seen in my life, but that's just me. I'm sure other authors have other tips for working with beta readers. But point is, be smart who you give your book to. And other than that, don't worry too much about people stealing your story. You're fine. So, I hope this video helped ease any anxiety you have. Let me know in the comments, what simple steps do you take to ensure your story is safe? Before we go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Sarah Frame from my shout outs here over on Patreon, as well as all my amazing patrons. You guys are so awesome, thank you for all your support. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe for weekly writing advice videos. And don't forget to follow me on social media to see what I'm up to from day to day. And remember, Norfolk President!